welcome to daily newspaper analysis which is brought to you by Lossico. So first of all, we would like to wish you all a very, very happy Eid. Eid Mubarak to all of you guys, whoever is watching this newspaper analysis today. We hope that you guys are doing well and that may God bless you all with all the happiness, health and prosperity in your lives. Here, uh, before we begin with the session, because it is a religious, uh, you know, a festival today, there is a question which I would like to ask you all that is religion, right to religion, a fundamental right under our India for constitutional rights? Or, you know, is it provided as a fundamental right under our constitution? If yes, then please let me know that which fundamental right is it? And we would love if you can reply us in the comment section below, wishing us all very, very happy Eid and giving the right answer as well. Now, on this happy and sweet note, let's start the discussion for the day. So we have a one editorial which has taken uh, been taken from the Hindu newspaper. The title of this article is Delay and the Pains of Death Row. This talks about uh, the death row for uh, Balwan Singh. Uh, what, are, what is the entire issue? The assassination of the Chief Minister of Punjab. All of this will be issued keeping in mind the capital punishment, the system of capital punishment in the country. Second one we have is the news update wherein we'll be discussing the important awards, appointments and news points that are important for our prelims exam. And thirdly, we'll be concluding with the legal news important with the important case laws for the day. So the first article here is about the delay and the pains of death row. So the Supreme Court has extended the deadline of April 30 by two months for the center to decide on the death plea of Balwan Singh Rajona. Balwan Singh Rajona was awarded death sentence for the murder and assassination of Punjab's Chief Minister Priyan Singh. Let's look into this entire matter in a greater detail over here. So Balwan Singh did not defend himself. And during the trial, he was com he continuously stated that Bayan Singh was responsible for the disappearance of multiple people from the police custody. And the only regret that Balwan Singh had as an assassinator was that he had to kill some innocent people on that particular day because he was willing or he had actually killed Bayan Singh, the then Chief Minister of Punjab. So the death sentence was imposed by trial court in 2007, which was upheld by the Punjab and Haryana High Court in 2010. In both the cases, special reasons for imposing the death penalty, like that was given in the Bachchan Singh case framework, were not stated. Please understand over here that in India, death penalty is not a common rule. Only and only in the rarest of the rarest cases will the uh, death penalty be awarded. But here, in this case, the Bachchan Singh framework, which actually talks about, you know, giving the special reasons for giving or awarding someone with the death penalty, these framework, this framework was not followed. And these special reasons for such imposition were not made clear. Further, no mitigating circumstances or jail conduct was allowed or appreciated. What happens is that while at all we are conducting or we are uh, making, uh, you know, or giving death sentence to a particular accused, there are a lot of factors that are kept to be in the mind. Firstly, as we were discussing about the Bachchan Singh framework, which says that only in the rarest of the rare cases will the capital punishment be awarded. Secondly, the mitigating circumstances that where or what circumstances can be used or put under consideration so that the death sentence can be mitigated and maybe can be reduced to rigorous imprisonment or other forms of punishments, rather the death sentence and also the conduct of that particular accused during his term in the jail is also an important thing to be considered. But in this case, when we talk about this death row of Balwan Singh Rajona, none of these factors were put into consideration. When the death sentence was put forward or it was declared for Balwan Singh Rajona, so an uproar broke out amongst the Sikh community when the date of hanging, that was March 31st, 2012, came. The state government stated that since it was the Union Territory, the centre would take the decision because, of course, uh, we know that Chandigarh is the capital for Punjab and Haryana and such killing had taken place in Chandigarh because that was the capital uh, Union Territory. And thus, the state completely should, uh, you know, it shook off its, fold, uh, its shoulders from this and said that the centre would be taking decision on this. So the Shirumani Gurudwara Prabandhak Committee filed a mitigation plea uh, following this, which is pending after so many years till date. And Balwan Singh has already spent 15 years of his 27 years of imprisonment on death row. The political considerations have outweighed the immense physical and emotional toil that uh, such delay has caused in Balwan Singh. Now, this entirely is a big, big problem that we have in the Indian legal or judicial system that the, or the criminal system that we have, that the pendency, the delays that take place in the, you know, the decisions. And one very good example of this was uh, the uh, death sentence that was awarded to the Nirbhya convicts as well. So in that particular rape case also, ultimately, finally, the death sentence that would be done was after approximately seven, eight or nine 
years of that and that is why the people were actually eagerly waiting because obviously for those people there was no sense of uh, you know uh, sympathy that the people had in their hearts but generally death sentence is something that should be you know it, the decisions should be taken very quickly on that but of course keeping in mind all the important decisions and we should make um, you know on humanitarian grounds the utmost efforts to reduce or to commute the death sentence with any uh, punishment that is of gra less gravity so in such a situation the supreme court can step in now and it can commute the sentence of balwant singh due to the torture and denial of the right to life under article 21 of the indian constitution and thus we should be considering all the merits of the case on the humanitarian as well as the criminal or legislative grounds as well let's see what do we have for news updates today india and germany signed agreements on triangular development cooperation and renewable energy partnership so india and germany today signed a joint declaration on agro ecology and sustainable management of natural resources through this joint research knowledge sharing and innovation will be promoted between academic institutions of both countries and practitioners including farmers the transfer of technology and scientific knowledge will be promoted by encouraging exchanges partnerships and research collaborations with the private sector second shyam benegal inaugurated satyajit ray's semi permanent gallery at the national museum of indian cinema in mumbai so veteran filmmaker shyam benegal today inaugurated the satyajit ray's semi permanent gallery at the national museum of indian cinema it was in mumbai and it has marked the beginning of the 3 day satyajit ray film festival across the country thirdly retired ias officer tarun kapoor appointed as the advisor to prime minister narendra modi so former petroleum secretary tarun kapoor has been appointed as the advisor to prime minister narendra modi mr kapoor is a 1987 batch himachal pradesh cadre officer fourth tuna day today so in a bid to spread awareness about tuna fish and its importance to the humans and planet earth may 2nd is observed as the world tuna day the day also promotes the importance of sustainable fishing practices and educates the world on how tuna fish can uh, have you know has become a endangered species due to the high demand for their meat fifthly unemployment in april climbs to 7.83% so uh, the unemployment rate in the country grew to 7.83% in april from 7.6 in uh, the May, march of month of march according to the center for monitoring indian economy data so the unemployment rate is in urban areas was higher at 9.22% as compared to 8.28% in the march for the rural areas uh, for, uh, in the march as well and it has grown significantly in the urban areas as well sixthly press freedom day 3rd may acts as a reminder to governments of the need to respect the freedom of press and is also a day on uh, of reflection among the media personnel and the professionals uh, about issues of pressing freedom and professional ethics just as importantly world press freedom day is a day of support for media which are targets for the restraint or abolition of of press freedom let's see what do we have for the legal news today firstly nobody can be forced to get vaccinated vaccine mandates are not they are proposed not proportionate says the supreme court so the supreme court held that no individual can be coerced or can be forced into taken taking the vaccines and the same is enshrined in the right to bodily integrity under article 21 of the indian constitution so this is another important question for our exam that uh, the right to bodily integrity is endowed in which of the following fundamental rights you could be given some viable options but the correct answer would be article 21 of the indian constitution now the court also observed that the vaccine mandates that were issued by the states and the various authorities were not proportionate this was held in the case of jacob polyal versus union of india secondly here say treatments made contemporaneously with act or immediately thereafter admissible under section 6 of the evidence act according to the mp high court so the indore bench of the madhya pradesh high court held that any statement made by the deceased and which was of contempt contemptuous nature with act thereafter could be as uh, admissible as a dying declaration under section 32 of the indian evidence act this was held in the case of anil singh versus union territory of jammu and kashmir and another so this basically judgment the another part which one is here so that the cases in which the statement of relevant fact by person who is dead or cannot be found etc is relevant so the statements written or verbal of relevant facts made by the person who is dead or who cannot be found or who has become incapable of giving evidence or whose attendance cannot be procured without any amount of delay or expense which under the circumstances of the case appears to the court unreasonable are themselves relevant facts 
So this was all for the day. We hope you liked the session. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You may subscribe to our channels for such more updates. Thank you so much.